right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this first episode of Talk With Me, Mass Ioneer's new podcast. This is a new experiment, so we want you to let us know what you think of the podcast. So remember to like and share the video and leave a comment. Let us know what you think. It's good, it's bad, you hate the host, anything like that. Well, it's all downhill from here because I'm with the president of the hospital, Mr. John Fernandez. Uh, John, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Glad to be here. Thank you for hosting me, Dan. Are you nervous? Very nervous. I was going to say you sound nervous, and that's not just me projecting. But um, So, John, you started here in 2007, is that right? That's correct. Okay. And in the 12 plus years since you've been here, I think growth has been a big talking point for the hospital. The growth of the ambulatory and surgical services, four times as many patient care facilities, merging with scapins to form probably the uh, largest vision and hearing facility a research center worldwide, I think it is. How does that happen? A lot of hard work is part of our strategy. And the most important part is we executed on that strategy to grow and take care of more patients across eastern Massachusetts and even into Rhode Island now. We're now up to 20 sites and it's been terrific for our patients as well. You mentioned it was a lot of hard work, obviously. Um, uh, what were maybe like some of like the the key individuals and like departments that contributed to uh, all of this uh, great growth? I think one of the biggest parts of the growth is recruiting great physicians. And that's done by our two department chairs in ophthalmology and otolaryngology, presently Joan Miller and uh, Brad Welling, um, and the teams that work with them, the VPs. It takes a team effort. It takes a whole group, whether it's communications, the operating rooms, uh, to make all this work. But recruiting great doctors uh, to take care of our patients and be accessible and have a great patient experience of what attracts people to us. Before you came to Mass Ioneer, I believe you had about 15 years at Brigham and Women's Hospital. What was life like there and um, what was the transition from Brigham and Women's to Mass Ioneer like? So the transition was, um, was relatively easy. I only had to move across town, not across the country. So that was nice. Um, I was in charge of surgical and imaging services and business development at the Brigham uh, when I left. And so all those things translated very nicely here to uh, Mass Ioneer. What was different is I had to learn a different culture of a specialty hospital versus the uh, enormous uh, organization at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. But Mass Ioneer is a very friendly place and they welcomed me and uh, we've gotten a lot of good things done since. Who do you stay in touch with there at Brigham and Women's Hospital? Or were there any uh, instrumental people in uh, encouraging you to move uh, from there to here? So I don't think they encouraged me to move, thankfully. <laughs> they felt bad when I left. But I'll tell you that what I miss from the Brigham is not the work. I miss the people that I worked with. Mm -hmm. um, so I keep in touch with a whole lot of people. I actually recruited several people that either worked at the Brigham or partners uh, to join us here at Mass Ioneer. So um, it's been terrific. I've missed the people there still, but it's a small town, so we stay in touch. Excellent, excellent. We're about halfway done here, so I just want to remind everyone that's listening, if you're enjoying this content, please let us know by liking and sharing the video. And again, leaving a comment, letting us know what you think. And remember to subscribe to youtube.com slash Mass Ioneer, the YouTube channel, so that you can keep up to date with new episodes of this and all the other great content that's available on the channel. We expect this to be available on other platforms as well, like other podcast hosting sites in the future. So if you happen to be listening to one of those now, remember to like and share there as well. Likes and shares are free. And you can basically do it in the time it's taking me to tell you to do it. Now, and you'll be helping Mass sign here. Absolutely, yes. The, uh, the content can't grow if you don't share it around. That is a very good point. John, getting back to you. So you are one that, that I think is very committed to the education of the next generation. Uh, you do a lot of speaking events at various uh, universities like uh, Harvard Medical, Dartmouth, and um, many others. Can you give us a little bit of a taste of what kind of knowledge you're imparting to the students there? So usually in those sessions, um, I'm telling them about the Mass Ioneer story and how we've grown as an organization, the strategies and challenges we faced, um, and usually try to have a good discussion with those, particularly the students. But I always tell them at the beginning, it's a two-way street. I'm actually there to recruit some of those people to come work at Mass Ioneer. Um, so I look at it as an opportunity to recruit good people as well as 
um, share knowledge with these folks that are working at pretty good universities. Outside of the office, uh, John, tell us a little bit about the Fernandez household. What, what do you love to do with the family? Or maybe just some fun facts that uh, we might not know about Mass Ioneer's president. So I'll start with my family because they're most important. I have three great kids. They're all now adults. Uh, my youngest is 18, going off to St. Lawrence University this year. And the other two, one a recent graduate of UVM who's 22, and my son who's 24, now living in New York. And I have a terrific wife. Um, now we're going to have to live with each other more because there's no kids at home. So there's a fun fact. I'd say second is I still play basketball on Monday nights. Um, if you see pictures of me, you might think I'm a little round uh, to be playing basketball. But I love to play basketball and golf, and I basically like to work hard and play hard. Um, I gave up water skiing a couple of years ago, but I'm thinking about getting back to it. So a few fun facts. So you, uh, you work hard and you play hard, I guess, yeah? Yep, that's what makes it fun. Awesome, awesome. I like it. John, uh, I mean, we've gone through all of the accomplishments that you have presided over in the past 12 years. What I'd like to know is, first off, if you had to pick one, what is it that you are most proud of? If I had to pick one, um, I guess I'd step back and say I'm proud of the success Mass Ioneers had and, um, and celebrating all the good people that have uh, worked here and still work here is what gets me up day in and day out and all the patients we've served. So that, that, those successes, when it's sort of fun to look back and go, what have we done? Um, and what are the results of all the hard work of the people that work here and uh, my time here at Mass Sign Year? So I say that's sort of what I reflect upon the most. So it's not really one thing, uh, but it's about what we've done. Well, I mean, uh, you can give us a couple of things if you'd like. I guess probably my favorite moment happened about April, May, about a year ago when there's this uh, young boy who um, we gave the first uh, gene therapy injection to in the operating room and he could then uh, see and ride his bike and play basketball like, uh, and will not need any other treatments. Uh, it was a pretty amazing day um, in the history of Mass Eye and Ear and to see an actual gene therapy work um and a patient was just a, a special moment of both our mission and the work we do all coming together so i'd probably put that, that up there pretty high oh uh, yeah i think i would too moving forward what would you say are some of your top priorities for continuing to grow mass ioneer so number one would be continued uh, clinical growth um, i also hope we find two or three more new treatments or cures for our patients those would be sort of my top two. And to continue to recruit great people to come join our organization would be number three. Excellent. John, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. And for uh, all the uh, Mass Ioneer employees who are going to be hearing this first episode of Talk With Me. I think this was a great first step. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing all these new great advancements that you've been talking about. Well, Dan, welcome to Mass Ioneer. You're the new star mm -hmm. radio host at Mass Ioneer. So we look forward to many others. Need a few notes on key questions to ask them. I'm glad to help you. Oh, absolutely. That, that, that's good to know. I'm, I'll take information from wherever I can. And uh, But hey, we'd like to thank you for listening to us as well, everybody out there. Uh, keep an eye on your e-forum. This is where we'll be posting new and latest episodes of this podcast for the time being. Again, if you like the content, like and share, leave a comment, tell us what you think. And we will catch you next time on Talk With Me. That is Talk With Me, two E's in the me.